Good morning everyone. Today we got one of the smallest pieces, something that's probably not as prestigious as your kingfish or kuto or things like that. We are going to be talking about the even fin purse mouth. Now there are two main species that we get, the long spine and the even fin. The even fin is the one that probably more people have come across. Um, obviously as the name states, even fin, the, the long spine's got one extended dorsal. This, the fins are the dorsal itself is all sort of in a line. It's nothing standing out about the rest. Um, scientific name is Heris methini, 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 something like that. Um, they've got overall shape-wise quite a smallish fish. You're talking gets up to about 30 centimeters. Um, very sharp, pointed mouth. Uh, obviously, gets its name purse mouth from the very sharp mouth and the way they feed. They sort of shoot them out a little bit and can feed around. Um, the main distinguishing feature for me on the purse mouths are the, the scissor-like tail. So it's got a very, very, very V-shaped tail. The top there and then the fin is very, very forked in the middle like that. So that combined with the sort of the very large eye and that sharp mouth gets, gets you your purse mouth. Now generally, normally silver in color, sometimes a little bit of sort of a that sort of dusky yellowy kind of uh, coloration to it. Sometimes a bit of spotting, but normally just sort of your plain silver, very sharp mouth, large eye, scissor tail, scare. Now, you get them from Algoa Bay all the way to, to Mozambique, so most of our coastline. Um, the, the one thing is they're a Yuri Hayline species, so they're tolerant of a wide range of salinities and normally down to almost fresh water, if not fresh water itself. They, so with that being, being said, they're going to be fre frequenting estuaries, which is generally where most of us catch them. Um, they make very, very good bait for, for bigger fish, so that's why a lot of people do target them. Uh, when it comes to actually targeting them themselves, small baits, because they're very small mouth, your prawn baits are probably going to be the most versatile. And then recently we have been catching quite a lot of them, especially the, the slightly bigger versions on small spoons, little drop shot minnows, um, and I catch quite a lot of them on fly as well. They're like a nice small fast moving object is generally where they sometimes turn on, but otherwise they just sort of give you the middle fin as they swim past. They, they mature at around about 11 centimeters for the males, 14 for the females, so fairly smallish fish. Uh, what else we got on them? Yeah, as I said, small baits, flies, lures, and generally your estuary is going to be where you're most likely able to target them. Otherwise, on the coast, you'll see them in, they like to hang out, as a bait fish, they generally hang out in big sort of crowds, big, uh, big groups, so shoals to be specific. They'll hang out all together, so you'll be able to see them and then maybe put a little, a little lure in front of them or small little prawn baits and things like that. Um, so yeah, your light tackle, uh, catching them and then you can use them as bait for something like a kingfish or eat them if you wanted to. Wouldn't know what they taste like but uh, the kingies like them so maybe they are nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on the purse mouth. They, they're one of those species that most most people have come across if they fish in estuaries and if you haven't you definitely need to have them on your list. They're actually quite hard fighting for their, for their size. So yeah, even fin purse mouth. Cheers.